All right, let's look at this biology diagram review. The directions say, for each illustration, identify the technique or process or label the diagram and provide a detailed caption explaining the significance of the image. If you need more room for your caption, please use a separate piece of paper. <clears throat> so first up, we're looking at this picture here. And we, what we want to do is evaluate what's actually in the picture. So we have our secreting cell, our receptor, our target cells, and our chemical message. Probably the thing that really sticks out here is the receptor. Remember, a receptor is going to be a specifically shaped protein that's located on the cell membrane. The other thing here is this chemical message. The two chemical messages that we talked about this year were hormones and neurotransmitters. So the question is, what would a good title be for this? What's actually going on in this picture? What's actually going on in this picture is that this secreting cell is talking to these target cells. So what we're going to call that is cell communication. For the caption, we want to look at the different terms that are used here and kind of put that in a paragraph to summarize what's going on. Chemicals like hormones and neurotransmitters. Neurotransmitters are released by nerve cells match up with specifically shaped receptors. And I may not hear is that those receptors are proteins. Okay, we're going to do one more together using kind of those same guiding principles, looking at the text that is on the diagram and then also looking at the picture itself to kind of see what's going on. So this next picture says structure of a leaf. And they do have some terms down here. Now the terms that we're really interested in is the guard cell. And the guard cell is going to be responsible, remember, for opening and closing to let things in and out. The types of things that go in and out can include carbon dioxide, water, and oxygen. And we're not too concerned about the stomate. That stomate is really just the space in between. Now there are lots of different titles, so not everybody for every single picture is going to have the same title, and that's okay, as long as you're summarizing what's happening in the picture. So here I would pick homeostasis, and that's probably not one maybe that you would pick, but we're going to go over why this represents homeostasis. Remember, a synonym for homeostasis is going to be dynamic equilibrium. And what the two terms mean is that regardless of what's happening outside of the cell, the internal conditions are going to remain the same. A caption for this would go and take into account the guard cells. So we have guard cells, open to regulate the amount of gas exchange. Now remember, that term regulate goes with homeostasis. Now what I want you guys to do is you may work with a partner in order to complete the packet. If you're not using your time wisely, then you are going to have to work in. So make sure you're working with your partner and you try to get as much of the packet done as possible.